for one particular group of people that has worked so hard to make sure that we are up to date on everything and to make sure the Houston community is safe has been the Houston Office of Emergency Management. They worked diligently for the past couple of days to warn people and get them prepared for what was to come with this hurricane. So on the phone we have Brent Taylor. He's the chief communications officer. Actually, he's going to be, I believe, coming up in just a moment. Am I correct? Is that correct? He is live. Wonderful. He's the chief communications officer with the Houston Office of Emergency Management. Uh, Mr. Taylor, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good morning. Good morning. I know you are all very, very. The waters seem a lot more calm. A lot of what you, what you're doing and what you have been doing, and I know you had to prepare everyone for this event. Now that we are in the thick of this hurricane, what is the Office of Emergency Management doing right now to still continue to keep everyone safe? Well, uh, you know, we have been coordinating with our partners across the the cities region, county, state, you know, everyone involved in this. It really is an all hands on deck situation. And so we've been working together with the hospital district, with the police, fire, public works, all those folks to make sure that uh, the, the resources are in place across the city if we need them um, during response to make sure that everyone has what they need to stay safe during this event been able to do. Also, a reminder to people who still do have power and are watching us right now, as things start to calm down, you always advise people not to get back on the road so quickly because if there are emergencies, that's what you're here for so responders can get to doing what they're doing. But people have a tendency of saying, okay, the sun comes out, let's go ahead and do things. What advice would you give to people to remind them not to do that immediately after the storm starts to subside? You know, it, it's unfortunate. We see that with, with virtually every storm that we get that uh, people will overestimate their their ability to navigate the streets. Uh, obviously, with a storm like this, not only do we have high winds that have caused significant power outages, currently there's more than 300,000 people across the center point region uh, without power. And so uh, not only do we have that, but you're also going to have some street flooding that comes with this storm. So uh, the people will get out. Uh, we, we strongly discourage that, uh, you know, certainly, certainly not before uh, sunrise um, and really just wait uh, until the until the storm passes and until we're in the clear is what we would certainly be messaging today and what we hope all of our our friends in the media are sharing as well and quickly before we go we only have about 10 15 seconds but what other advice can you give to people to remind them that they need to stay home because i know emergency personnel will have to be the first ones to get on the roads to help people correct that's an excellent point. You know, if you put yourself in danger, you're also putting uh, members of our, our public safety teams in danger. So police and fire, they're there to help you if we need to. But, uh, you know, if you can protect yourself, that's one other person that you will not have to put out in danger as well. All right, Brent Taylor with the Houston Office of Emergency Management. You are the chief communications officer. Great job as always. Thank you so much for helping us out and getting the word out to the public as well. We'll talk to you again a little later.